The main attraction happens to be the oversized swoosh that nobody can ignore. Oh. The materials that they decide to use on the swoosh happens to be rubber and it is colored in black. We have seen the swoosh put in different directions. This alteration though, I would have to say they took a page out of Virgil's book. Not the book he actually wrote, but as far as, you know, styling book. Is this book about styling? I don't know, but I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. Being that the swoosh is actually oversized, it feels like it's moving a little bit. This was done to give the feel of tailpipes almost, like on a motorcycle. Normally like you're riding a motorcycle and you have like the extra long tailpipes that, you know, puts out the exhaust. That is what this is supposed to be reminiscent of. And now that I'm actually speaking about it, I can see where she was going with this. What I am about to say is totally my opinion. It does not mean that I'm right. It does not mean that I am wrong. It is just Triple KTK's opinion. I know I speak about myself in the third person, but it's okay. Once I am aware that I'm doing it, it is all fine. When you speak about yourself in the third person and you don't know that you are doing it, then you're crazy. In this case, I know I'm doing it, so I'm not. Let's continue with the review. Normally, we know the swoosh on the medial side of the sneaker is exactly the same size as the lateral swoosh. But in this case, guys, I think she could have done the medial swoosh a little bit smaller because having both swooshes just sticking out like that looks weird in my opinion. Doesn't mean I'm right, doesn't mean I'm wrong, I'm just saying. And I was actually saying this a few days ago to my boy Boatman that unconventional is actually becoming the new normal. Everybody's just going out there being super creative, being super innovative and just coming up with some fantastic type of designs. I was never really a dunk high guy but I kind of like the direction of high is going in. We have the slam jam, and now we got the ambush. Both of them is a silhouette that needed that big push. Bars and low, it's not scripted. This is all freestyle, baby. Being that I'm used to smaller swooshes, having the swooshes projecting beyond the sneaker like this, it just feels awkward. It does not look weird, but it just feels weird, if you get what I'm trying to say. I'm not used to super extended swooshes like this. It almost feels like something that Batman would wear. It's not super obvious though, but the swoosh is stitched in the crevices to the underlay of the sneaker. Interesting details can be spotted on the upper, particularly by the rear of the shoe. A preeminent heel counter is already part of this aerodynamic design. I don't know where I pulled that word aerodynamic from, but it happens to flow with the explanation of the sneaker. If you focus your attention to the heel counter, you will realize that it's actually thicker than usual. According to Yoon, the inspiration had been taken from a motorcycle or a car that have its chassis raised. Perfect example, just think of like a monster truck, how high it is off the floor. That is what she tried to do with this sneaker. So if you look at the initial heel counter of the sneaker, you will realize like it is surrounded almost by a cage. So I kind of get what she was going for there. Right above the midsole, ambush branding can be spotted and it is also protruding over the heel counter. It happens to be placed upon, it's not spring printed, it's not embroidered. It is more so stamped on with letters that spell out ambush. And just because you think it's a replica pair, don't think that they're gonna misplace or misspell ambush, it is spelled correctly. The sneaker happens to be a two-tone colorway with the only change in color landing on the insole, which happens to be a vibrant fluorescent green with black ambush branding. The underlays of the sneaker is colored in white and the tongue tag swapped out the typical Nike branding that you would see on the Air Jordan 1 for just the Nike swoosh and the word ambush at the front. About now you guys are asking the question as of what is ambush or who owns ambush? Where it is located? Ambush is a contemporary Japanese jewelry label founded by Verbal and Yoon in 2008. I believe that was the date. Bars on the low. Label have partnered with a variety of streetwear brands such as a Baven Ape, Nigo. That word is actually very close to nigger. But anyways, Mason Kitsun Sakai, which happens to be one of my favorite Japanese labels. Undercover and now the famous brand as of 
Nike. The sneaker is inspired by motorbikes and cars, especially the ones with the extended chassis. And I think she accomplished what she was going for somewhat. Most of you guys that really don't have an idea or the backstory of the sneaker, that is what Yoon was going for when she designed this sneaker right here. And if you think, like I said earlier in this video about a motorcycle with the extended tailpipes, you would see somewhat of the inspiration landed on the sneaker. The only hiccup with this, guys, I think the medial swoosh should have been a little bit smaller so that you can see a clear difference in size. The only tweak your boy Triple KTK would have made when it came to this fantastic piece of apparel. Nike has been pushing the dunk lows to new heights, and now the dunk highs are being pushed to new heights. You see what I'm doing there? Dunk lows being pushed to new heights. Dunk highs being pushed to new heights. Anyways, corny joke. Back to what I'm saying. The dunk highs, man, are pretty much getting a collaborative push. And I just love what Nike is really doing. I really do appreciate what they're doing. They're giving all types of silhouettes that people don't really rock with. The opportunity to be appealing to new viewers. You know, I was never a fan of the dunk high. But recently, they released the Slam Jam. And now they're giving us the Ambush, which is a Japanese label like you guys learned in this video. Slam Jam, I believe with a British label. In my last video, I explained that. And they're just bringing everything along together as one brand, as they should because it is Nike. I see they are trying to bring all the classic silhouettes forward in the right direction. <coughs> Which is fantastic. They are not leaving any stone unturned. The box of the sneaker, guys, is just a typical all black box that has the word ambush at the sides. And at the top of it, you have Nike with the swoosh that is somewhat, not so much reflective, but it's giving you a reflection of the light. But the weight of this sneaker it is a heavy sneaker. So if you're going to be out there walking around all day, I suggest you not wear these. But maybe like if you're going to like, you know, maybe the corner store or you're doing a quick photo shoot or something of that sort, I suggest you pick them up. But the sneaker is quite heavy. Picked up this pair from Song Sneakers. I got this sneaker in exactly two weeks. You guys know Corona is affecting everything. The hubs over there as far as DHL, FedEx, UPS, whichever shipping company you tend to use, all of them are pretty much backed up. So they might tell you that your sneakers might get to you in a week's time, but it might be delayed to maybe two weeks or even three weeks. So just be mindful if you order, you're going to be waiting a while. I don't want to promise you something that I really don't have a nice gauge on. If you guys think for any given reason that these sneakers are retail sneakers, no, they are not. Both sneakers that you're seeing today, the left and the right is a non-retail sneaker. If you guys look at the bottom of the box, you can see the Chinese label to prove that. Then again, that's really not proof because you and I both know they are actually retail sneakers over there in China as well. But that is a video for another day. This happens to be the first of two reviews that I have to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this one in the comment section down below. Let me know anything that I could have done different to make the video a whole lot better and all that good stuff, man. If you guys are even rocking out with the sneaker, let me know how you feel about it. Do you like it? Do you think it's a little bit too feminine? Do you like the design? Anything that may be throwing you off about the sneaker, even if it is not close to the retail counterpart, let me know in the comment section down below so that we can have some type of conversation going on. Once again, guys, I've done over 100 videos of different replica sneakers. So just make sure that you're going back and checking out videos that you have not seen me drop because you might ask me about an Air Jordan 1 Off-White and I've done that like maybe two or three months ago. So just please make sure you're browsing the channel to pick up any videos that I have already done. It's your boy Triple KTK and I really do appreciate you guys watching every single video that your boy is dropping. If you have not subscribed to the channel as yet, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And remember guys, if you spend time with yourself, you will never be alone. Be easy on it.